everyone, Alex. Jordan. Every week, this restaurant is full of hopeful singles, all looking for love. Hi there, Ed. Here to see Purdy. All the daters have seen is a photo of their potential partner online. Perfect. Thank you very much. Cheers. Now, they just need a spark. My checklist is what they're wearing, teeth. I've got a thing about good teeth. Whether the shoes match the colour of the belt. He's got to be dead special to be under five foot nine. If I don't like the shoes, I haven't met that dead special under five foot nine yet. Anyone that halves a bill on a date is a no-go. I won't see him ever again. If a guy come in white socks on the first day, I think I'd just die on the spot. But a real man will stop me and go, fuck off, I'm paying. A girl would be lucky to have me, <laughs> I guess. Um, no, I mean, that sounds, that sounds awful. Busy this evening? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Fair play. 21-year-old Ed's arrived for his date. He's a PR manager and knows that first impressions count. Hopefully I come across as a respectable young bachelor looking for love. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded so cringy. What do you use those chilies for? We do the Bloody Mary here. Ah, Bloody Mary. Classic. Classic drink. Hi. Good evening. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Sugar. My name's Purdy, and I'm here to go on a date with Edward. Ed's meeting 23-year-old Purdy. She's here to change her dating fortunes. If you, like, did statistics on how many dates and how many men Purdy met, to how many boyfriends Purdy's had, it would be shocking. Suspense is killing me. <laughs> All my friends and family would envisage this guy who's, like, really posh, big raw, big top, um, <laughs> as my ideal guy. And, yes, that probably is. Purdy. Edward, nice to nice see you. you. Finally. Yeah, take a seat. And um, what have you been up to today? Uh, yeah, so I've just been just sort of been prepping a little bit. I went to the gym. Okay, cool. Put a bit of workout, pre-date workout. What gym do you go to? Uh, I go to um, a gym in Brixton. I was thinking about moving to Brixton. It's quite edgy there. Yeah, I know. I don't think I'm cool enough. I'm trying to become more edgy, like <laughs> starting to wear check shirts and like I'm trying to like sort of you know rebel. If you like rock up in your like Ralph Lauren or something like that, people would be like, yeah, you're in the wrong place. You're not clapping. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. I'm a big fan of sex. If I'm going a couple of weeks without it, I think I start asking myself, could I be gay? Hello, mate. You all right? Uh, reservation from Mark and Claire, meeting Claire. I think I'm more of like a bum and a legs man, you know, a good pair of legs. Fucking love a pair of legs. Can I have a, a double vodka lime and lemonade, please? I'll have a shot of Zambuca and all if you've got one. Cheers. As soon as I see a girl, they look at you and they catch your eye. Like in your red, you're sort of undressing them with your eyes. I don't know what it's like to shag her. You want to be able to just rip her clothes off every time you're with her. And that's what makes a relationship someone who's fit. London lad Mark is meeting 23-year-old Claire, a hairdresser from Kent. Hiya. I'm here to see Mark. Mark, what was your name, sorry? Claire. Claire. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, you all right? Hey, you all right? Nice to meet you. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm so sorry, I'm not really late. You're always late, I'm not always late. Yeah. Do you have a drink menu? Please. I've gone for a double vodka lime and lemonade. Oh, hardcore. I thought I was going to be stood up, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I was tempted. Sorry. I'm glad you're not awkward, do you know what I mean? Um, I'm really definitely bad, not awkward, but I'm a hairdresser. Did you cut men's it? Yeah. What's the worstest thing someone's ever said to you in my chair? Sometimes they make a comment on my looks. Really? Not a little cheeky number or something they leave, you know? No. It's, like, professional not to. To be fair, like, when I see you, I thought... I'm not going to lie, I did check you out. 
Got a lovely bar on you, straight up. To be honest, I did. Yeah, nice ass. No, but no, like in a nice way, not a pervy way. Like, oh, I'm gonna rape her. Do you know what I mean? I mean, like, no, no. Do you know that? Just throw that out there. No, no. Do you know what I mean? No. Get the phone out there. I've met a lot of arseholes, and I just don't want to be one of these girls just up their numbers. If I think that they're too cocky, I'm knocking down a peg or two. Hmm. You got like a little bit of a toupee look going on. Got a double crown, so the back's a oh, fucking yeah, nightmare, honestly. Absolute nightmare. Any excuse. I think me and you're gonna fall out, to be fair. Nah. I'm just too much of a challenge for you. We shall see. We shall see. When did you graduate then? Did you graduate? Um, the year before. Year before last? Yeah. I ran for politics in my third year, like local elections. Did you? Yeah. Who for? Conservatives. <laughs> 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 it wasn't going to be Labour, was it? Quick, don't say anything too loud. Yeah. Um, like, How do you say Hol Holborn, by the way? Yeah, Holborn. But if you you're really Holborn. posh, you might say Holborn. I think it's because I, I work near Hol Holborn and yeah. loads of people at work quit say Holborn. So well, I'm... if all your work colleagues say Holborn, then it's not really... Then it's Holborn? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. Have you been travelling? I'm going away for two weeks, like, at the end of this month. Oh, cool. Where? I'm going to New York. Oh, my God, I love America. Yeah. <laughs> I genuinely do. I've never seen someone, someone be so, like, Just animated about America. Seriously, most of my clients are American, and they're like, pretty, oh, my God, come and do this. They're like, pretty, can you get that in the wild? Pretty, done that. And they're just like, oh, my God, Rachel's are so great, pretty. I'm like, thanks. I do try to kind of, like, think, OK, just sit there. Let them do the talking. Hide the crazy personality. And they're like, you know your name's like pretty hot. Huh? I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like some people are really quiet, some people are really shy. I'm just full on. <laughs> and then when I go over there, they're just like, oh my God, so we've been waiting to meet you for so long. <laughs> I'm just gonna nip to the loo actually myself. Yeah, no, go right. for it, Excuse yeah. Me. Ready to order? Um, I need your help. Yes, please. What's a pheasant? Pheasant is the it's a kind of. Uh, oh, that's the one with the feathers. To the yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. The, the, the first I've heard of cocoa fin. That's chicken. Chicken. Cooking red wine. As it said? It's a cocoa bun. Cocoa bun? Yes, I forgot to. Uh, cocoa bun. <laughs> but it was close. <laughs> Cheers. How long have you been single? About 18 months. What about yourself? I've been single since March last year. March? I'm really, really fussy. I have rules and regulations and... It's like I'm going to throw out there, like, sex. But you have to wait a long time for a girl like me. Not anyone gets... No. Gets to see you naked. No. I'm really, I'm really, really insecure. How long are you talking? Four months. Four months? That's all right. It's a four-month rule. Yeah, I'll do five. <laughs> But not many people make it past two weeks. Really? Why? Because they're like, oh, for fuck's sake, I want to shag you, but I can't. Mm. Really? If you don't make the four months, you'll probably be gone by two weeks. You've got it all planned out, haven't you? I think it stems from the first ever boyfriend I had. And he used to dump me, cheat on me, and then get back with me. It was horrible. I was ripped apart. And I feel like, well, no, I can't fall in love with this person. I'm going to get hurt. That's what I'm like now. You have to get past my barriers, and it's quite hard to do that. Where do you live? I live at home with mum and dad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But um, it's a bit awkward. Like, I don't have a bedroom door. So what happens then, like, when you take a girl home? You do it in a bush, don't you? What's that? You do it in a bush. I don't a bush, not at all, not at all. Never done it in a bush. Hall table. That's pretty good, don't it? Poor table. Strangest place you've had sex. It's normally quite romantic. Bedroom with no door. <laughs> so, <laughs> that ain't happening. That ain't happening. Cheers, thank you. Everyone in this restaurant is on a first date. Oh my god! That's awful. <laughs> I've got to take a Snapchat of this. 
A Snapchat. <laughs> yeah. Cheeky charmer Mark is on a date with no nonsense Claire. How do you spell oyster? Purdy and Ed are now an hour into their date. What's your uh, Halloween single for? It's <laughs> a legitimate question. Um, like. I don't really thinking, know. thinking about this one. I am thinking about this one. I've never had a boyfriend. Categorically, never had a boyfriend. Um. Weeks, months, years. <laughs> Still me now. Is it years? Um, I'm just trying to think. My parents are always saying to me, Paddy, have you found anyone? I'm like, oh yeah, Mum, I'll just pop down to Waitrose, go get my boyfriend, you know, bring him home with the groceries. No, Mum, it doesn't happen like that. Um, I would say. I don't know, how long have you been single for? I've always, like... Always? Always been single, yeah. Well, that sounds quite bad, doesn't it, on paper? No, that's, that's why I... That sounds really bad that on paper. Question. Um, oh, you've yeah, never had a serious relationship? No, right. Yeah. Never had a relationship, really. OK, good, OK, so we're in that's the same boat. Nice. At, like, family occasions, it's always a bit sort of like, um, you know, found anyone yet, Ed? So, Edward, any lucky ladies in your life? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just kind of like, mm, no, not really. Like, oh, some nice people, but, you know, I'm really just focusing on my job at the moment. I never say that. <laughs> <But> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess there's always that question which arises. I guess it might be nice to, like, you know, be able to answer that with a, yeah, I've, uh, I've actually I've actually found someone. <laughs> oh, well, cheers to that. <laughs> cheers to, cheers to our, our, our love lives. Yeah. <laughs> Could this be the one? I'm not sure. I wouldn't say no. I think he's great, so who knows? You got far to go now? No, actually. Oh, clapping. We're going the same yeah. way, actually. <laughs> Convenient. Um, I think we... Oh, I think we definitely catch up again. I'd definitely be keen to catch up again. Like, yeah. You know. Thanks, guys. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you. So do you fancy each other? That was fun. Yeah, it was really good, thanks. No worries, thank you. I... Oh, God. I wouldn't say I fancied Purdy, no. Do you want me to expand, or...? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've been single for 10 years now. I didn't mind in the first five years. Hello there, sir. How are you Steve? doing? Steve. Thank you very much. It got a bit harder in year six and seven, and it's now year 10, and it's driving me up the wall. There we go. Thanks very much. Retail manager Steve has made the long journey from York for his first date. Should I have a, a pint of lager shandy? Of course we go. At 36, he's desperate to find Mr. Wright. I am slightly lonely for that, that one other person. I miss curling up on the sofa and cuddling. I know that sounds girly, but I like it. Is that mojito? Yes, please. Looks good. <laughs> Hello there, sir. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good, yeah, very well, thank you. Um, I'm Peter. I'm here to meet Steve. Thank you. Let's just have a look for you. Since the breakup of his relationship three years ago, theatre director Peter has dreaded every first date. I'm scared to ask anyone out because I'm totally frightened of rejection. Come from far today? No. Have you? No, not too far. Just near Canary Wharf. So. OK. I don't know how you overcome the fear of rejection. If I knew that, I probably wouldn't be sat here. <laughs> I've got a gift label in my wallet. I don't know what that's about. Hey, Peter. Hi. Hey, right. Steve. Yeah, good to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> this is weird, isn't it? I know. <laughs> so, are you drinking? 
I'm having a shandy, so I'm kind of compromising between the two. Yeah, you see, I'm a bit all or nothing when it comes to... Well, go, go all. Yeah, but then I might say inappropriate things. That's fine. You can go. No, it's not <laughs> fine. It's, like, completely not. Can I'm you kick me it. under the table if I say anything rude? I'd love to. <laughs> OK, cool. Manhattan, please. Two Manhattans. Yeah. Whoa. Are you hungry? No. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Eye contact or it's nine years bad sex. I've had that already. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Don't want another nine. Cheers. Quite skinny. Oh. Makes my cock look bigger. You actually threw that out there, didn't you? Actually threw that out there. Nightmares tonight. Are you a slut? Hope you are. Far from it. I've slept with 64 women. That's pretty decent, isn't it? I quite like that. So you're not a slut then? I'm not a slut. Are you sure? I'm positive. When was the last time you had sex? Two months ago. Doesn't make me a slut. I've actually made a list at work, and every time I just now add a name on. Um, some of the names are a bit weird because I don't actually remember their names. So it could be like random Magaluf or random Xanti. It's pretty bad. For girls to have sex with me on a first on a first date, I'm not going to say if I want to be with her. When you know a girl's not giving out and you're with her for a while, that's when you know I'll date that girl. Do you know, mm. do you know what I mean? I'm a really good girl. I don't get their hopes up. Yeah, no, good on you. Do you know what I mean? There should be more girls like you. Now, do you know what? You're actually a really nice girl. Mm. Right. I'd see you again. Yeah. 100%. Definite. I wouldn't kiss you anyway. Cat. You what? I wouldn't kiss you anyway. You wouldn't? No. You wouldn't? Not a first date. I don't actually know if I like him or not. How much do I owe? No, don't be saying. Sorry. No. Sorry. No. Shut up. It's no. A I get it. I think if a girl likes you enough, you'll end up having sex. Um, obviously not in the first couple of weeks, but I think if you were dating a few more times, um, I think eventually you'd have sex within a month. Come on, let's face it. Cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Looks better. Oh, wait. It? Oh, it's no, it's not my fault you're You're a hairdresser. Right? That's not it. Would you go on a second date with me? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Okay, that's one. We say goodbyes. Uh, I, uh. If she don't know, then I think then it ends here, doesn't it? To be fair, which is quite bad because I would have seen you again. But lovely to meet you. I'll speak to you later. See, See you later. Do you have any mates? <laughs> Single mates? <laughs> Did you just say that? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, got to ask him now. All oh, right, I'm gonna go for the the crab. Uh, sorry, I'm sure that's really nice. <laughs> I don't eat any seafood, nothing from the sea. <laughs> no lamb, no pork. Okay. Nothing with a bone. Nothing with skin on. <laughs> There's a, a naughty part of me that likes to be a. A bit provocative, a bit argumentative, likes to sort of mix things up a bit. As a homosexual, I don't feel comfortable with pastry. OK. <laughs> so, the whole crab for you. Thank you, well. Back in the First Dates restaurant... I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. Steve's crab has got the better of him. Vagina. <laughs> That's how I imagine one to look like. You don't know what a vagina looks like? <laughs> Have you ever slept with a girl? I'm not getting, uh, I'm not getting it. No, I haven't. No. OK. Mm. Have you travelled much? I was brought up on a military base in Berlin. Were you? Yeah, so... Wow, um, that sounds quite sexy. It was pretty sexy. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> the worst date I ever went on in my life 
I was with a German guy, and um, it was going really well. And um, he goes to me, I don't know how you live in London with all these blacks everywhere. Today I was on the bus and I was the only white person. And I went, well, of course you gassed them all, didn't you? And, um, and then we both sat there with like a full pint of cider. Like me thinking, you're absolutely racist. And him thinking, you've just mentioned the war. <laughs> and like, obviously, I grew up there, so you, can't, you get to see the horrors. I've been to the concentration camps, I've seen the gas chambers. Oh my I've God. seen buckets of teeth that were pulled out. Oh Lampshades made of um, tattoos. It's not very nice at all. Yeah, let's move on from there. I'm just going to go to the yeah, yeah. Okay. One sec. A lot of what I say I don't mean. And it's out my mouth before I've even thought about it. Tonight, twice divorced Mo is back in the restaurant for another chance at love. Last week, he dated Chloe. This one is hot and spicy like a falafel, this one. There was a spark, but Chloe's chihuahua Bentley. You know, I don't really like you, yeah? Proved too much competition. No, no, no. I need to be number one. <laughs> Thank you. Don't I get an, an umbrella with us? I never give up hope. I'm an optimist. I'm always positive. My ideal girl would be Princess Jasmine. You just want to be her Prince Charming. I don't think if I haven't met her after two, three different dates that she doesn't exist. I'll keep dating until I find my princess. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Very well, thank you. Oh, my days. Looking hot. And spicy, like a neck nut. I've come to see Mo. His date... And what was your name, please? Sonia. ..is 39-year-old Geordie princess, Sonia. How you doing? You all right? Hi. You're looking for me. It's I'm all right? right. I'm, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's only just emerging after a break from dating. I hibernate, so for, like, the last two years, I've been at home. I'm not really on the dating scene. Some people may, may find it a bit scary to approach me, but please don't be scared, cos I'm quite friendly, I don't bite. But if you're tasty, I might bite. <laughs> are you excited? Yeah, I'm so excited. Excited? Where are you from? Take a guess. You look like Pocahontas, so... <laughs> so I'm from Disneyland. So from Disney World, right. yeah. Where are you from, then? Just tell me. I'm from India. You're from India? I'm from India, yeah. Shirless. Sahetik. Yeah. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> like what? Oh, no, like you're about to kill me or something. <laughs> There's more gays over there. Ugh. Oh. Over my shoulder. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Get them out. <laughs> you know, what people do in their own private homes is up to them. I know. Fucking hell. I mean, really? In restaurants? <laughs> <laughs> it's nearly three now. That's a long time. Sorry. No, it's just, it's flown by. That's oh, a good thing. That's, that's a good, good. thing. Yay! <laughs> he was witty. He was warm. Friendly. Um, had really kind eyes. Eat slower or the date will be over. <laughs> Did you fancy him? Yeah. Do you want to tell me that? No, because he might not fancy me. Oh, 
being on a string, I like being like on first date, first date, first date, first date, and like so few second dates. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> you again if you wanted to see me again. I had, I had a really good time and it was a good laugh. Mm -hmm. However, I just didn't feel that, that spark. Okay. But I had a really good time and thank cool. you for a really good date. Cool. It was good. I really don't feel like I need to see any, say anything else. Okay. Cool. Done. Thanks. Yeah. Mm. So how did you imagine your day? I imagined it to be like you. A bit weird. <laughs> I do like a good laugh and I would like someone that is quite cheeky. They have to be silly and crazy and funny and, and they would have to like me enough to give me their last rollo. <sighs> I like weird. Yeah, I know. I'm a little weird too. That's nice. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah. <laughs> have you got a big family? No, just me and my brother. I'm a family guy. Like, I'm, honestly, jokes aside, I'm a big family guy, man. Yeah? yeah I want, like, seven children. Oh, my God, that's why I want, want like, a football team. Yeah. That's 11. <laughs> so where do you live? In London. Like, where about? London is a big place. Central. Oh, God. But you're asking, like, what if you come and stalk me? You know what I mean? I don't want to know like, what if I look out my window one time and I see you waving at me, like <laughs> Chucky or something like that? I went to boys' school, which is probably the source of most of my relationship problems. <laughs> if I wanted to pinpoint one area, we had a girls' school down the road, um, so literally like half a mile. So 600 girls, you know, on tap. It was fantastic. Good evening, sir. Evening. How are you doing? Very well. Have a uh, reservation, Ben. Thank you. And do you know who you're meeting at all? Kelly. Thank you very much. It's sort of, sort of childish, you know, school disco mentality. Girls on one side, boys on the other, you know. <laughs> it's never quite left me. Ben's realised that at 28, he needs to take a more grown-up approach to dating. He's looking for a match made in Chelsea. I suppose I do conform to stereotype. I've got a polo shirt, a brown belt and deck shoes. I mean, that is the uniform on the King's Road. It's, you know, a two to a penny. We might think we're unique. A pair of stripy socks just to keep it, you know, edgy. Can you, can you do an espresso martini? Is that something you can knock up? That would yeah. be... That would, yeah, that's just what the doctor ordered. Thank you. Good to see you, Ben. And what was your name, please? Kelly. Thank you very much. Let's have a look. Is he here? Or... Just having a look for you there, quickly. 24-year-old teacher Kelly has had enough of first impressions. Men who are attracted to me are generally assholes. I get the guys who just sort of see the blonde hair and, you know, sizable breasts and I like literally like all right love <gasps> hi there you are you must be Kelly <laughs> I think so <laughs> how are you doing hi. I'm Ben really nice to Lovely meet you to meet as well cold. you okay you are you feel really cold it's horrible isn't it yeah I'm really it's really 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 take an hour on a Sunday evening as well yeah, you are throat it's very cold freezing though. let's get a drink come on yeah. let's take your accent slightly South African are you yeah oh nice yeah Piercing blue eyes, isn't it? Very, very blue. Yeah, I know. Are they great? They, yeah, yeah, they are kind of like. But yours are like blue too. I was like, they are kind of blue. Compliment yeah. your shirt, nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think you've got a bit of muscles, don't you? <laughs> like pulsating out of Sorry, I'm. Mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's a big thing. <laughs> well, no, no. <laughs> I was, yeah, that is. Bit intimidating. I was sorry, like. Sorry, I was. <laughs> um, well, yeah, anyway, carry on. Um, 
No, it looks good. It's fine. <laughs> Don't apologise. The first date's restaurant is in full swing. And some dates are going better than others. People snogging over your left shoulder. Over people, the right. people were snogging over your right shoulder. That cannot be their first date. Everybody in Please here. Please say that's not their first everybody date. Everybody in here. Oh, God, they're tonguing. Uh. God, I wish I'd eaten already. <laughs> Um, yeah. Can I? Yeah. Can I just get a pint of lager of? Thanks. Thirty-two-year-old heavy metal fan Paul isn't giving up on finding love. Last week, he dated Canadian writer Christine. Have you been to Germany? Yeah. Uh, when I was younger, with, with the, with the, with the family. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I wouldn't mind going. Back. Back, actually, yeah. That's a... We can both agree there wasn't really anything romantic going on there. I think so, yeah. 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 So I mean, like, if we were to meet up again, we'd be fist bumping and high fiving. But but, but that's cool. I like that's fist totally cool. Bumping yeah. and high fiving. Yeah. So, you know. so I mean, like, yeah, we can hang out as buds. Friends. Friends. Yeah. High five. High five. Out. Sweet. This time, Paul's hoping his stammer won't ruin his chances. I mean, to be honest, I haven't had too many actual girlfriends. You think they're not going to want to talk to me. You can't say sexy stuff with a stammer unless you count sounding like a snake. Paul's date today is Catherine, a 29-year-old science teacher from Liverpool. Good to see Paul. Yeah, I don't like typically good-looking people. Yes. I like people who've got maybe a little bit of a big nose or funny ears or something kind of different about them. Even crooked teeth, but not too bad that they need surgery or anything. Perfect, and it's just this way. I always thought that I'd be married with children by 26, and I can't believe I'm 29 and I'm still single. <laughs> Hi, how you Hello. doing? Hello. Uh, nice to meet you. How are you doing? Not bad. <laughs> you all right? You smell nice. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Hey. So, here we are. Has anybody actually ordered anything yet? Because I don't see any food being cooked. Those guys have got a weird... Sh uh, sh ...sharer thing. So how many tattoos do you have? Qu quite a lot. Where else do you have them? Uh, all up there, some on my leg, and uh, the back. Hmm. What does that say? Oh, that is the wristband from the... British Stammering Association. Do you wear it in the shower? Yeah. I don't mean that. <laughs> I don't mean that in a weird way, but is it? I wasn't going to take it in a weird way until you said that, and now I'm like, wow. Well, to me, it's kind of like something. It's kind of like an accent, or yeah, I guess it is. You know, I don't. Yeah. An accent that takes you half an hour to say a word. Yeah, well, sometimes it takes Americans half an hour. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you, my darling. <laughs> Cheers, Ben. Is it Benjamin or Ben? Just Ben. Ben, it's all over your nose. Do you want to have stuff all around my mouth? Please get it off me. It's, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Can I just fix you up? Come here. <laughs> I have to do something really annoying that moms do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you hate that when your mum used to be like... Can you travel much around England? No, not around England, around the world. One of my favourite places was Barcelona. It's cool. A lot of culture, yeah, good, great culture and kind of really Amazing. interesting. And... First time I ever tanned topless. I was so much fun. <laughs> and you just looked at my boobs. Dirty, dirty. Well, it was... You went the first time I tanned topless. I like playing games with men, and I, I get a thrill out of it. What would you do right now if I literally just, like, kissed you? I quite like it. I don't kiss on a first date. 
Or at least we've got that out there early. I don't like to be a girl whose guys walk all over. And I like to challenge men, and I think I do. I always cool. sleep with the guys yesterday. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, I do. There you go. You can get a taxi. For no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, what do you do in your pastimes? I like to um, watch movies and. Um... Horror movies. I like horror. No, you look like a type that likes horror movies. What are you trying to say? Do I look horror? No, 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 please. You're looking nice, man. You're looking nice. You don't look horror at all. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I like Rocky. I love Rocky. Could you do his voice? Adrian, we did it. <laughs> I love you, too. The yes. best bit, yeah, the emotional bit is in Rocky 2. I love Rocky Where he's, he's reading her the books like for days when she's oh in the God, coma. She's in the coma. I love that one. Oh she, my days, that makes me cry. She holds his hand and she goes, Rocky! Is that gonna be Adrian? <laughs> oh, we no. won that! No, she doesn't say Rocky. <laughs> she doesn't say it like that either, because if it did, I wouldn't watch it, yeah. <laughs> what she says to me yeah, is. Do it with your Adrian, voice, yeah, go on. I've been thinking. Yeah. You know, if, if you don't want me mixing with Creed so much, God. maybe we can find some other way. And she, and then she responds back with... Queen! Queen! <laughs> <laughs> she was crazy, right now, I'm telling you straight. But she, it was fun, a lot of banter. I actually enjoyed the date. I think um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have it any other way. It was nice. You driving home? Yeah. Where to? Central London. Where about? Can't tell you that. If you sing a song for me, I'll tell you exactly. All right. Mm. Right. Um. Red and orange and purple and blue. <laughs> That's just. I can sing a rainbow. <laughs> Embarrassing. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> the point I realised it was a no no with him was when I ate my last spoonful of pasta. It dissolved and, and it made me realise that the guy in front of me is not for me. Thank you. Bye. Bye. That's the great thing about pasta. You're gonna drop me home. <laughs> no, no, you can get a cabin. Man! Um, do you think? No, I don't. Yeah, me neither. <laughs>
Ja, nee, ik okay. pak een lipstick aan. <laughs> Oh god, hi. Hmm. So how long have you been single for? Mm. A couple of months. Not long. Yeah, not long. But um, we're doing long distance, so it felt like. So it kind of fizz it fizzled out way before it actually sort of did. Not before you cheated on me, but. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, it's cool. It's all good. Trust. That's all I want. I've been lied to, that's horrible, it's rough. Because once you've broken trust, you ain't got nothing. You really don't. You just don't. You look quite honest though, right? You're very honest, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm curious then. Okay, no so, bullshit with me. Okay, so we're being honest and we're saying there's no bullshit. So I say to you, like, I wanted to go for a second date, what would you say? I'm curious. Mm. <laughs> That's very odd. No, yeah. Well, no, well, 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 while we're playing the honesty card, we're, you know, we're, you know, if I said to you I want to go for a second date, what would you say? I mean, we haven't finished date yet. You could really mess up in the next 30 seconds. Ask me after. Ask me after. Kelly's definitely my my type. Um, really good fun. Um, really energetic. You know, curvy figure. You know, I'm definitely keen to kind of see where it could go, um, for sure. So you a boob or a bum man? Boob. Okay. I mean, you know, like nobody's going to turn down either, are they? You know, if they're particularly impressive. Playing the dating game. It's a fucked up game, but it's fun. Like, I think it is fun. I think you know, you meet different people and you try on different sizes to fit you and what works. And it's like clothes shopping. Oh, that looks nice, but ugh, later on it's like, oh, I don't like that anymore. Whoa, wait. Sure, thanks. You don't have to do that. We can go Dutch, like. We go Dutch, I'm ridiculous. Hi. How are you? Hello. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Thanks this way. Like a kiss would have been nice. Maybe. I don't know. Did you want to kiss me? What do you think? <laughs> well, no, we, talk, we talked about it. But you, you asked me on You the know day. what, Ben? Actually, you should have just kissed me. Cool, well, thank you. Had a lovely time. I had a shit time. <laughs> oh, that's not very <laughs> nice. You're not my type. OK. But, but, I think you're lovely. Well, thank you.